Hello, welcome to Mythology Shorts. Today, Shankri is often accompanied by a bat. There are many different versions of how this came to be. One of which is that there was this demon on a bridge who drank the water beneath the bridge and turned to a bat who wanted to help Shankri. And then he did. Sometimes the bat is actually in Shankui's forehead, but often it's just together with him. Sometimes it's flying upside down. I'll give you the explanation later. There is one more tale about Shankui and a bat. One day Shankui was casually flying around on a cloud, and suddenly a bat just flies into him, and then the bat transforms into a sword, which is Shankui's personal magical weapon. Here's the explanation of the whole bat thing. So, just like me, the Chinese people enjoy a good pun. Because bat is the word fu, and the word for happiness is also fu. So, Obviously, bats means good luck, and the reason why they're flying upside down is because the quote upside down is the same as have arrived, which means that if you say the bat is upside down in Chinese, it would mean exactly the same as Happiness has arrived. It's the exact same pronunciation. Do you remember in the first episode of Shankui where I said that he was incredibly ugly? Well, despite that, this exorcist god is very popular. I mean, you know you're popular when shopkeepers and or house owners put your face and or name on their house and or shop to be safe and that's what they call a door god but why is Shankui so popular well it's partially because of oh wow the emperor xuan song yeah who had a dream about two ghosts one smaller one, who stole a purse from the imperial consort Yang Guo Guifei, and a flute that belonged to the emperor himself. Then there were a bigger ghost, and that was Shangqi. At least that's what the ghost said. He tore out the eye of the smaller demon and ate it. And he said he had sworn to rid the empire of evil. And whenever I awoke, he had recovered completely from his illness. So of course he told his court painter, Wu Duasi, to produce an image of Shankui to show to the officials. And this made not only Shankui popular, but was also a high influence to later representations of him. This is the end of this episode. Speaking of episodes, here's the last one. Subscribe here. And from now on, on the end of every Mythology Shorts video, I will send a link to a random video, often a fun one. So definitely check out that if you have already seen the last episode. That's all for this time. Goodbye.